RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 speed build on the channel and welcome to London or as my good friend Joey from Friends used to say London baby so yeah today we are building a double decker as it called in London and it, it is kind of an iconic uh, iconic car it's not a car it's a bus so it, it is some sort of an iconic symbol you know let's call it like that it's an iconic symbol regarding London. Uh, I know, I know, I know. It's it's a part of few iconic symbols like the Big Ben, which of course I already built on the channel. And uh, yeah, I teased that build a few days ago, like two days ago. And some of you uh, were super hyped for I don't know. Uh, there was the London Bridge over there, and someone said the Big Ben. So I, I immediately addressed him to the build because I already did that. So there is no good point to create another one. I'm trying to build each time something new, and when I'll do a full circle of the stuff that I uh, can do and, and and haven't done yet, okay? When I'll finish building anything, <laughs> we don't, like that's not gonna happen, but. When I'm done finish building at least one time each thing in the world, then we can start doing them again, okay? So yeah, welcome to a double deck bus, which is not gonna be a normal bus, but after creating few builds in the recent past with those wheels that you can actually create wheel. Uh, I, the first time I created them were, was with the, um, I think the, the Bessie build, like the monster bus. I built it over there and I used the tool mod which is it got some changes and upgrades uh, like the past few months and it is amazing so a uh, huge shout out to uh, Twisted Maxi for bringing that uh, modification to the mod because it, it really created it much easier for uh, for for use and no again you do not have to own the mod in your game in order to play those builds okay that's the beauty of Twisted Maxi Max uh, Twisted Maxi Max <laughs> That's the beauty of the mod by Twisted Maxi, the tool mod, okay? You don't have to own it in order to play those builds. That's that's why I always count them as no mods used. But anyway, you're gonna see there are some uh, problems regarding the building process uh, of this build, which is uh, the hood itself, okay? Uh, that was such a pain in the uh, you-know-what, okay? It was such a pain because every time you do some changes to the build, you're bringing more walls, you're changing, I think, even patterns on the walls. If you take down, uh, as you can see right now, I think, uh, um, when you take down some walls and you bring some new walls, the hood of the build is basically built from a roof that got manipulated and lowered and then stretched over a half uh, a half wall. Yeah, it, it is kind of messy, but with that technique you actually create like half walls roofs, if that's a thing, okay? But because of that, every time you do any small changes to the build, adding some walls, removing some walls, do some changes to the construction of the build, it kind of vanished the thing. So yeah, I had to create it few times uh, in this build. So don't be so surprised if you see for a moment that the hood is over there and then it vanished and then I need to create it over again and you'll see it popping again. And th yeah, the hood was a really pain in the uh, you know what. And after complaining about the hood, yeah, the windows of this build, I know, I know, it's not it's not the typical windows for this uh, for the real bus in London. And there is a bit more accurate window in the game, but it's a bit bigger. And that's why I decided not to go with it. And I tried to uh, go with something that the main window is is almost identical to the real bus, and those small separated section on the top of the windows are the stuff that I kinda ruining it, but I don't know, I, I, I feel it's still working, so I went with it. And as you can expect from me, this is not gonna be just a bus. It's not gonna be a bus that is a duplication of the bus, because there's no good reason why to build it as just a bus, right? It needs to be functioning in the game with a different way that will make it much funner, 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 funnier to play. So this is, and I think it's kind of typical to do so, you know, this is gonna be a bar, okay? Because uh, for those who've been to London and know the, the British people in London, one of the things that they really enjoy is to have a cold beer or some sort of a cider or something uh, between work. And you know what, I, th I think this, that this should be like a rule in the world. Every time you go to work, 
on your um, I don't know lunch break you do not go to your coffee machine on, on like in, in, in the places that you work you go outside you take some sip from a cider or something and you go back to work and in London they really love to do so so I decided why not to take those two things the double deck bus and a bar which by the way I checked I never done bar before in the game and, and, and I was like what really never okay let, let's fix that so yeah I built this as a bar the most awesome awesome the most awesome bar in the game you have two floors the first floor is gonna be where uh, you can enjoy a party time it's a bit more messy so you're gonna see some like uh, stuff that are being trashed in that area because people are drinking and breaking stuff and uh, and even I think I even placed on the floor uh, cat like footprints with mud on them or something like that because it's it's like kind of trashy after after a party so this is the first floor and the upper floor is the place with the bartender and it's the more like organized area on the top floor okay but uh, yeah that, that's like the typical bar in London not really okay not really but I really try to to give the uh, vibe of Londonian uh, bar inside a double deck I don't know I, I like the idea so I've done that and I created the tube, like uh, not the full tube, the tube is the under underground railing system that they have and uh, I created the entrance to it. Okay, just, just to give it a bit more uh, uniqueness to the build and, and vibe of London. Oh, and, and at some point you're gonna see that uh, the whole build is, uh, is like turned, I, I turned it. Uh, to the other side because at some point I really really didn't like the lighting on it and the position I don't know uh, something wasn't like 100% working for me so I decided I'm gonna turn it so don't be uh, like fully surprised or freaked out when it happens so yeah and for those who are wondering what are those pictures with the flag which is the, the flag of, of Britain and that's very typical in, in on those buses you, you can see like half of the bus half of those buses in London are fully with uh, commercial on them and and uh, you know they, they meant to be used more I think for tourists and, and if not correct me but I, I think they're more for tourists and I do know you know what this is something awesome I do know that there is a bus in London look like this old type of bus and it's black and it's called the ghost bus and it's supposed to do some sort of a touring in in some hunted areas which is super awesome so for those who are wondering those uh, pictures of the, of the uh, flag are actually paid paid painted from reference so you can create those paints and place them inside the game and then place them whatever you want so so you're gonna get the vibe of the thing that you're trying to to, to, to give okay and you know what there is one thing regarding this build that really drove me crazy and and I really hope that someday we will get some sort of fix for it okay and it's the ground you'll see that uh, at some point or, or you already saw that that at some point I, I was actually fighting make sure that the ground that I'm painting is almost like identical to the ground around the lot and I don't know why but I couldn't find the right uh, tiles if, if if those are tiles and I don't think they are I couldn't find them so if you know the exact one let me know in what pack I can find them and, and I'll try to, to, to look for because believe me I had such a hard time to try and match those tiles from the outside of the build like around the lot and the ones inside a lot but yeah that drove me crazy now a quick thing that I really want to tell you is that recently I received few um, comments regarding um, the red shelf tutorial that I created how to use it and with the same on, on the same on the same video I show how to use the two mod but few people stated that they have some trouble getting into the website and maybe the uh, link is broken so I checked it out and no I don't know the, the the link is working fine I can go in I can press when you go in that um, that website it is kind of purplish with a download link and the download link is ba basically is, is the word download in blue I think and when you press it it will download you the uh, the uh, the mode so if you want to do that you you can it's working if it's not working to you 
There is one thing that I can um, suggest to you. Maybe it's the firewall of uh, of your PC, so you need to shut it down to in order to get to that uh, website. But I can go inside uh, without problems. Sometimes even the antivirus software will have you uh, blocked from the website. I don't know. It's it really it more like a personal problem on each PC. Uh, but the link itself is working fine. So I really hope you will manage to uh, fix it and just want to let you know that the link itself is okay. I'm gonna do a small break here just to remind you that if you enjoyed the time here and enjoy this video and this build and your time with me here chatting, uh, eating your brain with a spoon. If you enjoy this, make sure to hit the like button, share the video with friends and if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos every week regarding building, tips in building and all that stuff. And if I already mentioned building tips, in this Friday I'm planning a video for you regarding stairs. I know this is one of the most um, really hard to uh, master thing in the game, uh, staring. And those who are following me on Twitter, they received a teaser for what's gonna come in this Friday. So of course make sure to follow me over there because sometimes I'm sharing stuff over there that I'm not sharing over here. Yep, there are some benefits from, uh, from following me on Twitter also. And uh, just letting you to know it is regarding stairs, but it's something that no one ever made before and I, I, I looked for it, okay? I checked a lot on the internet. Like someone did something like it, but not exactly like it. I'm not gonna share with you anything more than that, okay? You're gonna have to wait to Friday's video, okay? So make sure to follow me on Twitter also, okay? Same same as here, RGR Gaming, a green R uh, as a symbol. So yeah, right now I'm doing the last touches of the first uh, floor and we are gonna get into the second area, which I gotta tell you, that was a very, very hard. And uh, it was so hard because of the uh, dimension of the build, because it's only three width uh, um, tiles, so it's kinda hard to fit a bar, a bartender, which is supposed to be on the other side of the bar, and chairs. I, I wasn't quite sure if, if it's gonna work, so I've done some uh, testing during the building process, and, it, and you're gonna see that in, I think even in the intro, you could see that it's functioning. Okay, so don't worry, anything is functional, uh, the bar is, uh, is, is a party place, yeah, it is, and uh, at, at the end, it, it it's gonna work, okay, but I gotta tell you, that was very challenging to try and fit, like, gigantic bar, like you can see right now, a bartender that's supposed to work on the other side of the bar and uh, those stairs. Why I keep saying stairs? I don't know. This is the third time I'm, I'm trying to record this and I'm saying stairs. I'm, I mean stools. Stools, okay? Stools, not stairs. God. Okay, so 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 they, that was super hard to, uh, to, to fit inside. And you know what? When I uh, placed those menus behind the bartender, I was super afraid. I, I don't know why. I thought it could not get inside and, and, and test and, and be functional. So I actually tested it almost after placing anything. Of course I cut it out of the uh, of the building process because you don't need to see uh, me testing it every time, but uh, but it was super challenging. And you know what? Right now I'm thinking to myself, what are the types of uh, of builds that I haven't done yet? Because this is a bar and, and I stated this is the first time I'm creating a bar in The Sims 4 game, but I created already a museum. I created all sort of residential, of course, unusual ones. I created uh, a lounge, lounge? No, I don't think, you know, I think I never created a lounge. So maybe this is this is something that I need to create. I created restaurants, like few of them. I think I, cre I created restaurant, right? I think that the Big Ben build that I created really long ago, it is basically a restaurant with a museum in it. It's not like in it, like the Big Ben itself is a museum, but I didn't want to be just a museum, so I created it as a museum and the restaurant like near it. So it's a restaurant, retail shop, plenty. I created a car shop, I created a gas station, which is a retail shop. Um, what else in the game? A pool, right? I think pool is something that some of you really want me to create. I know, I know. But believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm working on something that is not just a pool, but it is gonna be a pool, like a community pool. But it's much more cooler than just a pool. So I am working on that, okay? Don't, don't worry, it's coming someday. And uh, so, so what else? What other types of lots there are? 
that I'm missing that I haven't done yet. You know what? This is gonna be your task in this in this video. Let me know what type of build I haven't done yet. So you need to scroll and check the things that I, I've done. Okay, you can do that in the gallery, of course, and this build is at the gallery if you are asking. And uh, let me know what type of build I haven't done yet that you are uh, want me to create. So don't, don't ask for something that I already done because, well, I already done it. I am trying to create stuff that I haven't done yet. So let me know in the comment section down below and we are getting closer to the end of the video and the tour is about to start. So once again, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'll remind you to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment with your thoughts and subscribe if you are new here for more Sims 4 speed build tutorials and videos regarding building in The Sims 4 every week. Until the next time, keep that Sims party going for me, RGR Gaming, signing off.